This video is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Spider-Man has some of the most iconic villains in any universe As of if, all universes. As if, name one. Think of uh, one. Number 25, you... the Chameleon. That's quite iconic, actually. We're you doing a list. Wrong we're doing a list oh, we're doing of the immediate. best Spider-Man villains. Oh, We've stolen yeah. this list, borrowed, used. <laughs> I'm crediting them. It's fine. Uh, from list25.com. Yeah, but they didn't invent any of these characters, did they? They just listed them. No, they invented the list. chameleon. That, this is the, oh, that good one. for them. Yeah. So that website invented the character of the chameleon from the 1960s. That's right. Good for them. And it was very humble of them to put it at number 25. It's very forward thinking. I think so. Yeah, what do you yeah. want to know about the chameleon? First of all, if people could leave a like on this video, it helps. Apparently he's the half-brother of Craven the Hunter. Did you I know that? I didn't know that at all. Obviously he's a master of disguise. Yeah. Uh, has he got any powers beyond that, though, aside from Mission Impossible? Mask. The original version of the chameleon, he was a mask guy. Yeah. Now he's got like weird plastic implants in his body. So oh, he just, okay. he's got this weird belt. Well, maybe they've changed it since then, but he used to have like a fancy belt buckle. Yeah. Pushes, You've leaned way away from your microphone. He pushes the belt. You don't belt. need to mime belt buckle. You know what a belt, but you, you get it. 24, not sure about this as a villain, but they've got J. Jonah Jameson. Are you serious? Not a villain at Doesn't all. Doesn't count. Skipped. Yeah. Uh, this is a newer one at 23, Mr. Negative. I didn't really have much information or knowledge on him prior to the video game, but I thought he was a really interesting character. Me that They worked too. into it. Again, he's kind of villain by accident. And is he trying to do good or is he a bad guy? I mean, he's a bad guy. He's definitely he? a bad guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And at 22, we've got Morlin. Is he one of the vampires? He's a Spider-Man vampire. He's a Spider-Man killing vampire. Yeah, he's one of those vampires. He likes, goes around to different Virtually dimensions. Virtually immortal. He never gets old. And the only way to kill him is uh, severe wounds. Like a person, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think a regular person could be killed by just a regular wound. I, I guess just so. leave it long enough, yeah. you know? But this guy, he can leave a minor wound forever. Mm, yeah, He's good fine. on him. I kind of think those vampire characters are kind of boring. They, they travel various parallel dimensions to kill Spider-Man. Oh, yes. Because they love Spider-Man blood. Yeah. Don't we all? I think we do. Yeah. yeah. What kind of belt buckle does he have? Should we rank all these characters on their belt buckles? Well, then you're going to love this one, because yeah. 21 is Craven the Hunter. Oh, my God. He's, He's just got, got a, a belt spiky buckle. belt. Oh, my it's God. It's all spikes all the way around. But does that line on his chest, is that connected to the belt buckle? I kind of feel like it I is. I think it's tucked into the belt. Yeah, right. I yeah. think that counts. That counts as the buckle. What's amazing about the lion hide that he wears? First of all, it's a giant lion's face, but also the eyes are still in the vest. Yeah. What's going on and there? They can shoot lasers sometimes. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this guy, but he's also he's too low on this list. He's a better villain than 21, I feel. Yeah, for he sure. He should be higher than the next one, number 20, Jackal. The Jackal. I feel he should be way up to the top because he is the villain ultimately responsible for the, the Spider-Man clone, clone saga. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yuck. Yeah. So he's everybody's villain is what I, you're I think so, Everyone yeah. who loved comics in the 90s. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, 19 is Juggernaut, X-Men villain. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Uh, As no if. <laughs> what are you talking about, List 15 or whatever you're called? Whatever the website's called. <laughs> 25. This whatever. 25. Uh, 18 is Sandman. Pretty good. Uh, well, I think one of the best elements of Spider-Man 3. Yeah. Not a good movie. Uh -huh. On the whole, but a good character. And also has been a good character in the comics. He's been a good guy in the comics. Yeah, in that's fact. right. Been, he does I it all. He was, he was even a reserve Avenger at one point. Good on him. Yes. And at number 17 uh, is one of those generic uh, Venom Carnage knockoffs toxin. Yuck, who cares? Skip. Uh, 16 is the... Well, as if Sandman is... A, as if Sandman's below him. Come it's on. Ridic. Ridiculous. Uh, 16 is the Lizard. Uh, the Kurt Connors. Yeah, a good one. I kind of wish that we got the, the version we got was the one that was supposed to show up in the Raimi trilogy. Yeah, right. Because uh -huh. we got the Rise Seifen one. In the, That's um, true, we did. But he had the weird flat Goomba face. and. Oh, uh, yeah. It didn't even look like the comic book yeah. Lizard. Yeah. But the, the one from the comics is... And I guess there's a little bit of this, this in the movie. He's vicious. Like He's like more kind of crocodile than... The yeah, lizard right. In a uh -huh. lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah, you'd think that as the lizard, he'd spend most of his time on a rock. <laughs> yeah, sure. The sun's not on him, so he's just the sitting sun. there. Yeah, yeah I get uh -huh. yeah. Uh, I love this one, number 15, The Shocker, uh, because he's fun to beat up in video games. In particular, Spider Man 1 and oh, 2. Oh, for the video sure. Games. Yeah, and in Spider Man 4 as well. Yeah, that's right. That's Spider Man PS4, right? Yes. Mm. He, talks, he talks a lot of talk. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth! But you get to punch him a lot, yeah. and, it, and it's good. And he wears a big quilt suit. He's <laughs> also in uh, Homecoming. Maybe two versions, yeah. and they maybe took out one. It doesn't really do much shocking, though, does he? No, it's more, more concussive force. The, yeah, exactly. But I mean, that's shocking. That's if you <laughs> haven't been hit with an enormous wave of concussive force recently, mm. that would actually be quite shocking. Yeah, definitely so I, it would. I apologize for jumping to conclusions there. Number 14, also in Spider Man Homecoming, the, oh, the scorpion. scorpion, right? Though pre being locked into a weird mechanical scorpion suit. I think maybe he might be one of those guys who, like, make me a big robot man so yeah. I can kill Spider Man. And they're like, you sure? And he's like, but what's the like worst that could happen? Well, later becomes Venom for a bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Good on him. And then maybe dead. Yeah. Who knows? But there's probably another version. Yeah, for sure. Uh, number 13 is the Rhino. 
Uh, imagine the Hulk, but weaker and dumber and slower. And, and locked in that suit forever. Yeah, and also Paul Giamatti. <laughs> Silly. Just imagine Paul Giamatti. Wasn't he good in Sideways? <laughs> oh, so good. What's your preference? Do you like the uh, the big robot suit, or do you like the the big the big muscular man in the suit? Ooh, good question. I like the man in the suit one. Yeah. The big mecha. It's not great because it can just be anybody, really. Yeah, exactly. It's just some dude, you it's know? It's just some dude, that's right. Mm-hmm. And we're fairly confident because we've never seen the next movie, but at the end of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Paul Giamatti kills Spider-Man. Check this out. <laughs> it's the only possible way it could have gone. <laughs> He's not capable of fighting that guy. No. There were so many missiles coming at him. <laughs> Remember? It's over. Yeah. That's why they didn't make a sequel. Yeah. Uh, it's just two hours of cleaning up the street with a bloody mop. <laughs> uh, 12 is Hammerhead. A good one. Sure. Uh, he's Adamantium got a big ham- skull. Yeah, that's all right. But that's yeah. it. Is it just the front? Could you hit him in the back of the head? You definitely with, could with hit a, him with a the... pool cue and scramble his brain. You, what you could do is if he charged at you, just dodge out of the way, yeah. and the adamantium would go through his head. Oh, yeah. Through his brain. And From mush the front him. and yeah. push him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good boy. The rest of him's not reinforced, yeah. is it? Uh, 11 is Tombstone. Big albino man. Yeah. All right. Super strong. Stone skin. Really put him that high? All right. Yeah. I didn't... This is not my list, Mason. List you need 25. to back off. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Number 10. Here we go. The big guns. Right. Electro. Zap. Jamie Foxx. Yep. Why'd they make him blue? Why'd they make he's him blue? N- he's never been blue, he's or he yellow, probably has. He's yellow and green, the traditional colours of Australia. That's right. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Give him some boxing gloves and he'll look exactly like yeah. our flag. Again, and I think like all the villains that appear in Spider-Man PS4, a good representation in that. Visually, he's got like the scarred face from yeah, using too much yeah, electros. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, number nine, I wouldn't really count as a villain either, is Black Cat. Well, I mean, I know she's villainous and a jewel thief and maybe whatever. Maybe that's the key to being a good villain is you've got to keep people on their toes. Well, you know, maybe that's... Good she's, point. She's a compelling villain. Yeah, okay. Don't think she has a belt buckle though. Correct. Yeah. It's just mm-hmm. a cat suit. If you love villains, Mason, I do. you're going to love number eight, Hobgoblin. I love Hobgoblin. A guy who finds... Uh, the fun green... to say, fun to look at. That's right. Hobgoblin. A guy who finds uh, the Green Goblin stuff and goes, I could probably do this. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to rip him off, though. Yeah, make it yellow then. Yeah. Maybe don't put Goblin in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He could have been Corn of Cob and made himself yellow. The Corn of Coblin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. Imagine that. <laughs> I think we've found our number one villain. <laughs> I think Goblin. List 25 would have already predicted it, but it's Corn of Cobblin. <laughs> um, uh, Hobgoblin's major difference is that uh, the second Hobgoblin also became a demon. Okay, sure. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool, that's right? That's pretty cool. Uh, number seven, I expected this a bit higher. There's some ones that ahead that I think it should definitely be in front of. Mysterio. Mm. Terrific villain. Are you sure he's a villain? Because in the previews for oh, Spider-Man yeah. Far From Home, it looks like he's pretty heroic. I mean, that's obviously a departure from the source material, but every other version, except for the Spider-Man, is in Europe version. Pretends to be a hero, and then he's revealed to be a villain. Yes. But I imagine in Spider-Man Far From Home, that will be different. Yeah, that's he will right. start as a hero and remain a hero. Yeah. and Because, again, I'm movie. very easily tricked. Great villain, though. Sometimes he's just like wacky holograms, and other times he'll make... Wolverine murder all the X-Men. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Which he has done. Yeah. Number six is Vulture. Ooh. Uh, we recently saw the Michael Keaton version. That's a bit of a departure from the comic because it's not just an old man in a flappy suit. That's true, yeah. Uh, it's dangerous and nah, such. it's he's not just a man with, in a floppy suit. He also has arthritis. Oh, okay? that's true, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got his own challenges, doesn't he? He really does. Yeah. That guy's way out of his depth. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But put him way up on the top of the list. Why not? Why not? Number five. Here we, we're getting into it now. Yep. The Green Goblin. But which one? I guess Norman Osborn? Yeah, well, not There's Harry a Osborn. Sometimes Norman Osborn is the Green Goblin. He doesn't even know he's the Green Goblin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sometimes Willem Dafoe's the Green Goblin. <laughs> what do you think of New Goblin? Ski mask. Awful. Uh, wicked, sick snowboard. But I, it forgot about, in the I, sky. Oh, I forgot about that. Actually, really good. Yeah. <laughs> so he's number one, right? Sword. New Goblin. <laughs> New Goblin. Oh, imagine if it was New Goblin. <laughs> no, we already know. We didn't even get a name in that movie. They <laughs> no, just call him the... New Goblin in the toys and the, the, the McDonald's little trinkets and stuff. He's probably going to be number two because number one is Corn of Coblin. Corn of Coblin, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. yes. Number four, again, not really a Spider-Man villain, more Daredevil, but mm-hmm. Kingpin. He's New York's villain. Yeah, that's fair. Quite big. Number three is Venom. Venom. Not my favourite villain. Sure, yeah. Uh, but I understand why he's up there. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't really think we've had a good on-screen live-action version as of yet. Uh, maybe the sequel's going to Maybe the sequel's going to be great. The guy you work for is an evil person. But, you know, it, it's a good kind of counterpoint to Spider-Man. But then number two is Carnage, which I think is Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely not. I mean, Venom should be above Carnage, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Carnage is literally a, a Venom knockoff. Yeah, but do you remember that amazing post-credit sequence in yeah. Venom? Because there was going right. to be carnage. There's going to be carnage. Yeah, I can't wait So to I think it. he's at number two for Wig Alone. Okay. Plus, we didn't see his belt buckle. It'd be prison issue, obviously, because yeah. he's in prison. He probably really... makes that of his dumb hair. Yeah, exactly. And number one... Uh, Corner Coblin. Corner Coblin. <laughs> but coming in just before that <laughs> yep. uh, is Doc Tied, Ock. Tied for one. <laughs> is Doc Ock. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, which I think is... That's a classic villain, which I think has been translated well multiple times. We talk about the video game, he's good in that. Yeah, that's uh, the true. The Raimi trilogy, uh, the, the animated various series he shows up. And of course, he, is, he has been Spider-Man as well yeah. in the, in the uh, superior Spider-Man exactly. series. He, he took over the body of Spider-Man and in a way became a better Spider-Man than Spider-Man. For a little bit. For a little bit, <laughs> yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. But my favourite version is the backpack of arms, which lives in the Oscorp basement in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Just put it on, anybody can be Dr. Octopus. <laughs> Perfect, you don't even have to get your doctorate. Yeah, you don't have right. to have a degree. You just have to pass certificate three and robot arms in a backpack <laughs> handling at TAFE. That's community college. Boy, is it. <laughs> yeah. Do you have opinions on the best Spider-Man villain? Are there any in here that shouldn't be here or mm. should be here? What should be number one? Is there anything that could beat Corn of Cobbler? I doubt, <laughs> I doubt it. it. Oh, just imagine him flying through the sky, you know? <laughs> just throwing exploding kernels at people. Just a piping hot cob of corn covered in butter. Slipping between buildings. A former army colonel, that's the <laughs> twist. <laughs> Very good. Mm. We also do videos here every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We have also a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows that comes out uh, every Monday. But if you love Spider-Man, in our Tuesday series, Caravan of Garbage, we're going through the Raimi trilogy. Here, specifically and only at the Mr. Sunday Movies channel, we heartily endorse Dollar Shave Club. I mean, we all have our everyday grooming routines. I start my day with a teeth brush, a face scrub, jump in the shower, have a shave in there. It's a good way to do it with the steam and the heat, I recommend it. Anyway, no matter what your routine is, Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to make you look and feel and smell your best. Now, you've probably heard about Dollar Shave Club before, but the thing is they're not just shaving products. Dollar Shave Club can solve all your grooming needs in one box. I'm talking shower products. Oral care, hair products, skin products, buttocks wipes, and of course shaving products. If you've got a human body, then they've got you covered. Now, not only do they ship right to your house in countries across the globe, the more you buy, the more you save. And now's the time to see how amazing and high quality their products are. And right now they've got a great offer where you can get their shave, shower, or oral starter set each for only five bucks. So we've got the Shave Starter Set. It comes with the Executive Razor and three tubes of their Dr. Carver's Shave Products, Prep Scrub, Shave Butter, and Post Shave Dew. The Oral Care Starter Set with their Weighty Toothbrush and Trial-Sized Version of their Toothpaste. And the Shower Starter Set that comes with three trial-sized versions of their Amber Lavender Body Cleanser, Citrus and Hawaiian Ginger Face Cleanser, which is a bloody absolute delight. That's my fave. Plus the Sage and Black Pepper Shampoo. Join the club with one of their starter sets for just $5. After that, the Restock box ships regular sized products at regular price. And you can get this exclusive deal at dollarshaveclub.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies today. It's linked below. dollarshaveclub.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. Rest of the video now. Series Caravan of Garbage, we're going through the Raimi trilogy. Every one of them. All three of them? That's right. Bloody hell. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, so we got a lot of time on our hands, don't we? Let's link to below and more. Nice. Thanks for listening and watching, guys. Grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.